Ladies and gentlemen, the Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. Breakdown and Predictions, Volume 34. We'll begin shortly in 5, 4, 3, 2. 4, 3, 3, 4. Number 34, Fabi. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for your support. I'm the host, Mr. A. New viewers, thank you for finding my channel. Thank you for watching the show. Please become new subscribers. Help my show grow. This is a show for you guys, the fans, and myself, a fan, where we just talk boxing, not the same old merry-go-round of boxers. Now, let's get into it. Breakdown and prediction, the BBC British middleweight title. This, this month and the up-and-coming months are a lot of 50-50 fights, tough fights to pick, and this is one of them. Boxing is getting real good. That's that's what I'm say. It's a good sign of boxing. Not too many uh, pretty favorable fights. Now, this fight itself, Jack Arnfield is on, and versus Tommy Langford, is on the undercard of Chris Eubanks Jr. and George Groves. I did a prediction on that fight as well. It's in Season 1, Episode 1. You know, I don't have a timestamp. I'm sorry, guys. I will start putting timestamps. But the breakdown of prediction for that fight is in that. It's about 50-something minutes long. I can't tell you where exactly it's at. But be a supportive guy or a supportive gal. Go watch that. Go watch season one. You'll see the breakdown of prediction for George Groves and Eubank Jr. But I do have uh, Eubank Jr. winning that fight. Very tough. Very tough fight for me. Um, Now, this fight. We're going to go right into it. Uh, 25 and 2 for Jack. Six KOs with a 22 knockout ratio. Right there tells you he's a boxer. You know, he's his, his good, he's looking to just box all night and put that jab in uh, Tommy's face. But Tommy's going to come out here with his uh, body work, try and pressure him. You know, for the ring experience, we got Jack with uh, 157 rounds against 119. They're both 28. And we're giving up the two inches advantage in height at 6'2 for Jack. Now, leg wise, you know, I believe Jack has that advantage. You know, he's able to control the distance by moving around the ring, you know, keeping his feet in place for a nice stiff jab. So I'm giving the legs to Jack. Even though Tommy does pretty good leg move by putting pressure, I think sometimes he does. Even though he did deliver his good work, I think sometimes he's in too close. He smothers himself just a little bit. Now, defensively, I'm going with Jack on this one for the fact that even though I believe his jab is number one defensive weapon, but even then, he, like I said, his legs, he controls that outside gap. You know, and I think that helps him. He, he, he's he's able to slip punches, but it's that it's, he's good at keeping that gap with his legs. While Tommy, he's coming in to to really do his body work. That's you know his bread and butter. You know, I, I think he doesn't slip punches as well. Now, offensively, I like Tommy's offense. I like I like like that jab for jab. I'm going with Jack, but just a total package of offense. I like the oh the. A weaponry of Tommy. I like I like the up and down hooks. He work, he paints the whole body. You know I think he does a, a good enough jab to keep you guessing where the punches are coming come from. You know not just very predictable with his body work. Now all that being said, you know I do think even though the power says is with Tommy, I think. Jack's movement will be enough to kind of reset Tommy's feet. And I think Jack's jab with the one-two, I think he'll be able to set him up, pick him off coming in, hit him with a little body shot, that one-two hook, you know, that one-two hook up and down, and he'll turn him enough and win enough rounds in the split decision. I'm going with Jack Arnfield on this one. This is Mr. A. Saying again, new viewers, please become new subscribers. Help our show grow. Let's get known, folks. Let's get known. The Double RT Boxing Show. Ready, ready. Talk that boxing, baby. We're out.